According to media reports, Boeing F-A-18 had lost the bid for 26 carrier bond fighters for the Indian Navy, mainly due to the All-American Weapons Package. Indian Navy's aviation wing picks up lot of standard weapon firing tactics from the Indian Air Force, which does not operate any American fighter jet and is not familiar with American Weapons Package, that could have delayed operationalization of F-A-18 in the Navy. The Indian Navy can depend on Indian Air Force for training of pilots and also for replenishment of weapons and service. Deck-based Rafale Marine can also be operated from forward air bases in support of the Indian Air Force. The RDO's Vehicle Research and Development Establishment is all set to start development work on both tracked and wheeled versions of Advanced Armoured Platform through an industry partner, as well as an indigenous 30mm crewless turret for both the versions. Tender document reveals that it will have all modern features such as compact integrated power pack with automatic transmission, modular ballistic protection, instant fire detection and suppression system, auto NBC detection and protection system, active protection system, and an interface to Lloyd ammunition and mini UAV. The indigenous turret system will consist of a 30mm main gun, 7.62mm coaxial gun, futuristic dual launchers for anti-tank guided missiles, gunner main sight, 360 degrees commander panoramic sight, integrated fire control system, smoke grenade launchers, remote controlled weapon station for 12.7mm NSVT weapon system and laser warning system. According to a report by Times of India, the RDO's latest test of the hypersonic technology demonstrator vehicle was inconclusive. The report mentions that the initial launch was normal, and the booster stage performed as expected, but there is a big question mark on the scramjet engine of the HSTDV that might have underperformed. The DRDO is still going through telemetry data to gauge what might have gone wrong, and how many mission objectives it was able to achieve. The latest HSTDV test was for around 50 seconds, and it was not supposed to be a full duration test. A Bangalore based firm Singularity India Private Limited will be showcasing its one ton category unmanned aerial vehicle on static display at upcoming Aero India 2023, that puts it in the category of the Anka Block A class of Turkey. The company is also working on projects such as Mail Class UAV. UAV teaming and autonomous passenger aircraft. India has issued a no time warning for a launch of a missile in the Bay of Bengal, for the period from 8 to 10 February 2023, and the designated area is 230 km in length, which could be the maiden test of the much awaited Astra Mark II air to air missile. The carriage and dummy ejection trials have been concluded last year, and it is expected to be tested in a final deliverable condition early next week. The United Kingdom has advocated the inclusion of India and Japan in the AUKUS group, to provide advanced military capabilities to promote security and stability in the Indo-Pacific. Talks of including India in AUKUS might provide it with other options for its nuclear submarine program, which is dependent on Russian assistance in its nuclear submarine program, and France is ready to supply only the non-nuclear components for the Indian nuclear submarine program. Boeing is using its internal funds to study and develop a stealthy transport aircraft concept, with lower fuselage inlets and low observable exhaust features, that will replace the C-130J class transport aircraft in the future. The stealthy transport aircraft will have a maximum takeoff weight of 20 tons, and will carry out missions to reinforce forward positions in combat zones with increased survivability. Boeing will also develop a next-generation mid-air refueler on the same platform.